Morning, everyone. Thanks, Eunice, uh, for introductions. Uh, I'm Ming Yang here. Today, I'm your speaker to share with you uh, the Smart Business SQL end of life. Okay. A lot of people, when I share it out to them, so uh, they're hearing about this wording end of life, uh, then uh, they're very panicked. So today, I will go through with yours. Uh, what should you do for end of life for this? Okay. Let me share the screen with you, uh, the slides today. Okay. Mm. All right. So for Smart Business SQL, uh, thank you uh, again to uh, all participants to uh, attend this uh, webinar, okay? So uh, today's agenda, we will go through uh, what's the smart journey, okay? I will share with you. Then uh, what is the end of life for us, Smart Business SQL? And why is it the end of life, okay? And also when uh, we mentioned about end of life, what's the timelines, okay? And also what's the alternative? If uh, let's say the Smart Business SQL end of life already, so what should the alternative way you can handle it? And also we will intro a bit about the Dynamo, okay, the alternative for this new program. And what's the, for the, this Dynamo, what actually the Dynamo can be done, okay? Like the O2O, info to go, in card and shop to go. And also uh, we do very concerned about our customer clients, especially using the Smart Piece SQL. So what's the progression, uh, progress of the migration or any checklist that can be done? All right, so don't worry, I will share with you by this session. So uh, let's, uh, let's go through about this. All right, so we're talking about the smart journey first. Okay, from as we can see here, the smart journey, um, uh, for previously that we see the POS system and today uh, smart is already uh, developed until some, we already are uh, moving on to the smart new retail concept already. Okay, so previously in the uh, smart post system, right, as we can see, uh, we still need it on the position, right? But now today, uh, because of the markets uh, needed and the requirements, so our smart post system already moved forward to the smart new retail concept. Okay, so this is I want to share with you. Uh, now today we already uh, our company concept also changed. All right, and the next one I would like to share with you the our behind stories on the timeline. Okay, as we can see here, uh, for those uh very uh loyalty customer right uh privileged customer they're using our smart business SQL. i think it's more than that okay uh on the before the smart business SQL is a bit soft okay it's using our program until today which actually the business concept uh for the technologies right is uh, might need to change and transform okay from year by year okay based on the market needed okay as you can see here from 1997 until today uh we got the dynamo program on launching on tools See, uh, 2016, so uh, we have a Dynamo program launching, okay, on that time. And also we developed until two, uh, 2017, we got the introduction about the Smart New Retail. And also the until those are 2020, we uh, transform it to the SNR, we so-called the Omnichannel. Later, I will share with you what's the Omnichannel uh, about the, this O2O, all right? So this is the about story time, story time about the Smart New Retail. All right, so uh, as we can see here, our smart here, uh, usually the, our clients that will be separate in the three uh, business model. And we can see here in the, uh, at my left hand side uh, on the starter, okay, usually they have a shop, okay, or right now they have online e commerce, okay, as we can see right now under the pandemic uh, era, right? So a lot of people they're doing um, open up the shops and open up the e commerce. All right, so they were doing, they starting their business. And after that, they either they got the shop or they're doing online already. They were thinking, how about the integration? Is it O to O, online to offline or offline to online? Okay, so this is moving to the second stage for O to O. And the third one, we move, are talking about the Omni channel. After they are very succeed to implement their business in O to O concept already, they might planning to do it moving forward to Omni channel. So like example, the express delivery or they doing online, okay, whatever. Okay, later I will share with you in our site here, the omni-channel, so what it can be done, right? Okay, so the next one, I would like to share with you what our smart new retail have it right now, okay? As you can see in my left-hand side here, the smart new retail, we're not only doing uh, like the... Um, uh, distributions uh, like previous time uh, like previous our software is just uh, doing the sales only uh, distribution and the sales working customer and also right now you have the web store you have uh, e-commerce you have a payment o2o and you also want to have a click and collect you want to deliver 
uh, means uh, you want to have a service to deliver the, the parcels to your clients, right? Our smart new retail can be uh, accepted to the your delivery link. Okay, which means uh, I can say that um, delivery right is no problem. Right now it's already integrated to our system. And also we're talking about the membership loyalty programs and also the e-commerce apps and also the API also can be done in this Dynamo. All right. So, and you can see here on my right hand side here, the product family. Okay, this is, I would like to intro about our partners. Okay, you can see there's a lot of the changes on the smart new retail. We've got the touch post, we've got the shop to go products, we've got the, our Dynamo program. And also we do have a lot of e-commerce and also a lot of the parties that involved inside this, uh, to this Dynamo program, all right? So, and also the, the last one uh, uh, is the info to go. All right, that's our product family. I would like to intro to you under the smart new retail concept. Okay, so as you can see here, the smart new retail concept, at, as you can see at, uh, from my left hand side and the right, uh, left hand side and right hand side, right? So as you can see, no matter you're doing which part, okay, on the online on offline, okay? Our system is already capable to fit on your business operation already, okay? Uh, this is um, really, I go through with my clients. So they really, they, they're using it, okay? They utilize our software, okay? They're using it really, no matter they are doing to the third party uh, system, no matter they're doing the online, Lazada, Shopee, e-commerce, okay? They can are really able to integrate. And also we do have the on, uh, especially the store, okay? The front of them, uh, I mean, so the front end post, post system, we are so able to do it, the click and collect. We are also able to do in the express delivery. All right. So we're talking about the sales payment. We do have an integration with the e-wallets and also the credit card terminal. All right. So in the middle, you can see here the backend. So as usual, I can see here uh, our smart new retail, we still have a backend system so that integrate to all those parties. Okay. As I mentioned just now, and also we do have a loyalty system. All right. So this is the one new retail, uh, smart new retail ecosystem that I would like to introduce to all to our clients. All right. First, okay. Uh, we're talking about the smart new, uh, the smart business SQL and TMP end of life. So we, uh, we already intro. So uh, what's the next? So uh, I would like to share with you about the end of life. A lot of people that will be uh very scary about talking about the end of life. So uh, what's the meaning of our end of life? So uh, here is the definitions I would like to uh, mention again. There will be no software updates and upgrade and also no bugs fix, okay? And there's no mandatory enhancements such as GST and SST, right? Requirements. And also this uh, will be stop, uh, stopping will be effective on 1st of January 2023, okay? So do remember that. If you, let's say we got the new enhancement, so Smart Beast SQ, SQL right is already stopping on stop developing on the new enhancement already anymore, right? So if you, let's say you're asking me, Ming Yang, I still using the old software currently, no problem. Is it I need to change? Okay, if you want to use it, continue to use it. Uh, as I can say, you still can use it, okay? Okay, then why we, need to have an end of life or smart business SQL and TMP. Since already 17 years, we're launching on 2005 on smart business SQL. So why we need to change, okay? Because of the insufficient support and development, this is a, one of the criteria why we stop it. And also the tech launch, uh, just now mentioned already, the latest technology is not fit to apply to the current situations. And also the user's experience and enhancement are limited to fulfill. So as we can see, during to 205 until 2022 already to imagine that there's a how long about the technologies. So uh, not talking about our this software only. As you can see, our gadgets like phone, like the tablets, like the computers, okay? It's every day changing. It's keep advanced every day, by day by day, All right? So this is why is it uh, we uh, downstate end of life of Smart Beast SQL and TMP. All right, so uh, the next one I would like to share with you, end of life timeline, all right? So 
as we can see, I do believe that you all may receive it on last year, uh, 2021 December, we announced it, uh, the company has already announced it, so end of life notification date, and um, the last implementation date, we still uh, get received order from our clients and our uh, distribution also, so uh, the last implementation date on the 30th, which means uh, until next month, all right? So until the... Um, 31st of the March, right, 2022. So we totally, we have an end support, which means uh, we were based on the, your ad hoc situations, which means a case by case to see your situation, which means you, whatever you got the problems, you need to base on, on the ad hoc support available on the charges, right? So do not worry. And also the, um, we can see here the end of uh, support, software maintenance, and also end of the cover renewal. Okay, so by end of this year, totally we we no charge about the cover because there's no enhancement. But if you still want to using it, you just pay for the SLC maintenance. All right. So this is I would like to share with yours about the end of life, the about the timeline. All right. Okay, so uh, just now I uh we mentioned again about the mistakes. Okay, and then on the last order, uh on the on the 30th, uh, is the 31st date, is 30, uh, 31st of March. So last implementation date is on the 30th on the April. Okay, so sorry about that. Just now uh, mistaken. Okay, and also the 30th of the March on 2022. So it will be based on the ad hoc. After onwards, we don't sell on any on Smart Beast SQL anymore. All right, so this is the end of life, the timeline I would like to share with yours. Okay, so you may ask me, hey, Ming Yang, how is it? If you don't have the smart beast SQL already, so what's the products that can replace for smart beast SQL? Okay, so I would like to share with you is the our new program Dynamo. Okay, why are we talking about the Dynamo? What's the benefits of the Dynamo? Okay, as you can see here on uh, honestly, I was uh, work with Smart thirteen years. Okay, I also do trainer for around eight years like that. So a lot of companies, they complain. They said, Ming Yang, hey, why your sockets is always hang? All right. I, I need to every day to restart all my sockets. Okay. I can tell you, if you upgrade to this Dynamo program, you will be no hazard for, for this issue anymore. Because why? We only have a, one single socket to handle no matter you, uh, you've got 10 users, you've got 20 users. Okay. We already can cater all the hangs problems. All right. So this is the first of all, I would like to share with you, server socket is changed to one single socket. So can solving your issue, all right? And also we're talking about the common module, better experience in the, on general system, right? So this is the new interface screen. As you can see, to compare to previous screen, right? Uh, as if you in using that computer, you may need to retype your password again. At here, you may see, this screen is totally changed. You can really still remember your password, which means when you open up your desktop, you open up your notebook, you directly, you just click OK, then you can log in already. OK, so this is the one that new login in the interface screen. OK, inside what's the things already changed? So as we can see here, you can you can see a lot, a lot of button inside there, as you can see um, to the screen uh, on the backend screen, right? So there will be a lot, a lot of buttons. So what you can do, you can using our searching platform program, searching to easier to reach your buttons easily. Or you can have a history records, most visited, uh, more visited and history. So this is the one that I would like to share with you. Why is it the more friendly user about the, this Dynamo? You can customize, uh, as I mentioned to here, the most visited the history. And also we do have the bookmarks options. Okay, no matter um, every day you come in, you just do for your part only. So you're just using like supply invoice or customer invoice, whatever the screen that you always every day serve. So you may do have a bookmark option. Okay, at here, I would like to share with you is based on user system user, not the licensed user. Huh? It's a system user like Ming Yang, you're doing the purchasing part, you can bookmark whatever the pages are purchasing the bookmark only. Like example, you're another colleague, you've got the sales, you like the open up the customer invoice or 
customer receipt, right? So you can bookmark another user for those another bookmark. So it won't mix, right? This is the bookmarks. And also it's very fast page operation. We have a close all text, all right? So this is only to share with you, especially you open up a lot of a screen that time compared to the previous screen It's very uh, tedious. Okay, you need to close one by one. Okay, so at here we go, do have the option is called close all tabs. Okay, so this is the one I would like to share with you also. And the next one, the smart tools. Okay, inside here we have a lot, a lot of the tools that you can using it. You can utilize it to using it uh, to using the all the tools. Okay, inside here there's a really a lot that a function can be used. All right. Uh, so it's based on the uh, your business needed and uh, we fit into the what what's a client need it right. So we we do have a, we can implement it to your business right. So. As I can share with you again, uh, the smart here, uh, why is it the Dynamo also have a one benefit to yours? It's because of one of the, it's called unlimited understand company financial year. Okay, I do believe right now, if you're still using smart SQL, you need to have a, every two years, you need to call to smart, all right? To have a, per, do the data purging and do the whatever the so-called uh, year end closing, you need assist from smart support. All right. So if you let's say you upgrade to the Dynamo, is it you need to call to our smart support? Uh, not really. Okay. You can what? Uh, you can control by your own whichever which month or which year you want to have an amendment, right? So you're still keeping the data and you're still going going in. As you can see here, the screen you can create unlimited years. All right. So this is the one. Uh, this is a one of the benefits I would like to share with yours. Unlimited years. Okay, so what's the next one about the inventory module? Okay, the inventory module, as we can see uh, right now, uh, Smart Dynamo already at another two options. Okay, the costing methods, which is uh, we totally we got five costing method right now. Okay, in the new program. Okay, whatever you are in which um, situation on the costing method, right? Um, we also can be, be in. Okay. To your business operation okay so we support all the costing method here and also inside the support on more functions on stock maintenance as you can see a lot of people they're using it uh, sometimes their business grow already right so they need to have a lot a lot of the columns i will need to share with you the uh, inside here there's a lot of the features on the smart uh smart dynamo here especially like the image okay the image uh like the stock item image okay especially uh they want it, they need to insert uh to ter uh, terminal by terminal but right now you can control in the one room in the one that uh, in the dynamo so when your post system deployment that time it just uh, synchronized to your post system okay uh, and then the next one the price book okay we also have a price book option here which means uh you do have a like do partnership with the grab or you do have uh, any like other parties, uh, you give them the special price. So we do have a price book option. So we can set the pricing to the spec, uh, to the individually the the pricing for them. So you can using the price book option. When also we do have the the latest one, the location shelf, stock shelf, as you can see here. Okay. So the lo location stock shelf, right? At least you can know this stock is actually stored at which shelf. Okay. So we do have this kind of options and uh, a lot of the inquiries, right? They mentioned they need it on this option. So we do develop in to this program. Okay. But inside here, not only just now I mentioned it's just a little bit, but of course you can see here that really that Dynamo right can be helping to solving your problem inventory. All right. Okay. So we're talking about the inventory already. As we can see, the traditional way, we still need to have a stock take gun to moving on the, about the process on the stock take. Okay, right now, I would like to share with you the, this uh, stock take no longer, uh, not only can doing offline based on stock take, you also can using the apps to proceed for the stock take also. Okay, as you can see, as uh, this screen, right, I want to share with you the stock take terminal. So when you have an Android apps, 
So you can install, then you can do the stock take. Not only stock take, it also that is a good receiving, sales order, stock transfer, stock take, PO, and purchase requisition. Uh, purchase requisitions. We also can be done inside to, through apps. All right. So this is I would like to share with you. Uh, it already enhanced more than that already. Right. And the next one, I would like to share with you the about inventory module. We got a lot of the features and functions inside uh, this dynamo already. Okay. And also we can I would like to share with you the a lot of the inside of the features. Okay. Inside the Dynamods, uh, we do develop and keep enhanced. We keep release the, the latest versions based on the customer needs, okay, and the request also. So this is the one I would like to share with you. We got a lot of a lot of the reports that you can see inside, and the listing, okay, you can see inside the reporting here. All right. How about the supplier module? Okay, is it sub efficient supplier management? Is it like last time? Okay. When we're talking about the supplier modules, what do you think? Especially you think about the supplier setup, right? Okay. Especially the cut bound. So why i moving to supply invoice to mention to yours that because inside previously, when you're doing inside the, in the traditionals about entry, right? You need to do set up the supply name first before in coming into the supply invoice. Uh, okay. So at here, I would like to share with you they will be linked back, okay, set up cut file at supply, supply invoice screen. So you can you imagine that one entry, you can save how two minutes. So at here, you already save a lot, right? So this is already share with you. You can do in the setup cut file in the supply invoice. All right. Then second, we're talking about the stock maintenance. All right. At which means in the supply invoice screen, not only for setup card file, but you also only uh, you also also can more than do than that, which means a uh, sub set up the card file and also the sub the stock item. Okay, uh, this is set up the supplier, all right, and also the set up the stock item maintenance. Okay, as you can see here, the select stock. Okay, oh sorry. Okay, as you can see here, the thing, the stock, you can also do can set up the stock maintenance, okay, at the supplier screen also as well. Okay, so this is the proof that uh, this smart dynamo can be done, all right? And the next one, we're talking about the, after the entry already, some of the admin you mentioned to me, Meng Yang, I want to check about the history record, whichever I want to, uh, which payment I already paid, I already, I already make you as you can see here when you're pointing on the those record right the downstairs will be mentioned about the payment history all right so whichever you doing the like cn you're doing the, like the payment okay you can trace anytime okay through tap to click okay which means you go here uh, you go to the payment history right you just double click it and you can zoom in okay to the respectively the documents that you want to see all right, this is what I want to share with you on the supplier invoice payment history. And also, uh, I would like to share with you the smart uh, dynamo here. We also do have import concept. For those, you can see inside here the more there, uh, which means you click more, you can see import from file, which means inside our dynamo, you can using, you can maintain inside the Excel or Notepad file. All right, so you can, after you insert ready, then you can import in. So this is I want to share with you supplier multiple format to import to import bound. Okay, so the next one, the column chooser. I know a lot of the operations people right there crying. They say, Meng Yang, I some of it, my viewing, I need to see my stock description on the front on the first column. So the next one is say mentioned to me, Meng Yang, I want to using um the account code to the first column. Is it I need to have a customization? Yes, you can customize by your own and everybody, once you set it ready, is based on the system user. When you log in back, so it will be sticking there. Uh, some of it I know the, about the, our smart business your product. Once you're doing the pulling all the columns ready, right? When you all reopen back the screen, you resume back to the default. Uh, so this is the one that I want to share with you. Once you're setting it ready, Dynamo, you lock it there ready. 
okay you'll be solving a problem and also you do can have a customized by your own whichever column you do want to see easier for you to do the data entry so you can hide it or and unhide so we call it the column chooser okay okay so the next one i would like to share with you the supply aging so if assume that you've got the reporting you want to see that transaction detail what i know the smart business SQL previously you can't zoom in you need to closing up close the page and you need to go back and trace one by one so right now i can share with you there's no need to do about that when you're pointing on the this those um records right if when you click that time then you will be open up that spec specifically the documents ready so you can zoom in concept okay so we same with statement also right and also i would like to share with you inside here purchase uh the supplier module not only purchase order that we have right now we do have a requisitions we do have a suppliers uh aging there's a lot of the uh, features that you can cite you can use it all right okay so what's the next one about the customers module as you can see here the customer customer module as i just now mentioned the payment history is exactly like supplier history the payment history okay when you're pointing it you can know you can trace whichever your supply are uh, your customer you already pay or not pay they already wider cn okay you can know about it the next one and also we do have the profit calculator okay when you sell on that time or the boss not around that time so at least uh when you're doing the this profit calculator you know how to uh when you want to sell uh some something to your customer right so you from here you can using it the profit calculator as you can see here the profit calculator okay at least you can know you can earn how much this is one of the function that uh inside dynamo that you have it and also the next one when you receive the payment exactly you need to open up the receipt screen right so when you click this receive payment so automatically system will going to the receipt screen automatically so you don't need to open up so it's very easy it's very quick to do in the entry all right so the next one i would like to share with you in the smart dynamo also what can be done okay so we do have a, like especially you want to chasing your payment to your clients okay you need to call you need to follow up right so right now now today the smart dynamo able to have the best email function as well to your clients uh, now today we say paperless right now we got the batch email function all right so you can send those the document are uh, the aging the documents you can send to them as long you can see preview there's an email that you can using it inside the batch email function all right so one of it is a customer invoice and also the statement also right and also i want to share with you a lot of the function inside the customer module this is the one that i want to share with you uh, inside the customer module there's a lot a lot of the function and features inside the dynamo's uh, customer module right and the next one we're talking about the accounting module what's the changes about accounting module okay accuracy about profit and loss and bookkeeping management so first of all i would like to share with you uh, especially the payment vouchers are really changing a lot okay you can those using the import and export assume that that you one day you need to handle 100 transactions to apply it as you as you can see the screenshot here uh, this is one of it uh, sample but assume that you got 10 transactions you want to click one by one okay you need to go click one by one the 10 rows so you need to take some time so we do have uh, this option to less burden on your on your operations okay especially for, uh, for the the accounting okay accounting team so that good news for you so you can use it this concept to using the export those the below the knockoff invoice and you can uh, export it to excel then you moving uh, the column ready then you it can import back right and the next one i would like to share with you 
the supplier uh, to support multiple payment detail. All right. So especially the clients, they pay for partial payment. All right. Uh, in a previously, our smart business credit right, not able to do this concept. You, if you are separate payment right, so you need to do the uh, two entry. But at here, we one entry we can we can uh, solving your problem already. So as you can see here, two entry will be knock off one bill. All right. So in Dynamo, you can be done already. Okay, you support multiple payment detail. And the next one, we're talking about the bank recons. Okay, inside bank recon, I would like to highlight four, uh, four things we uh, share with yours. Okay, first, we will be talking about the searching. Okay, I do believe uh, about the accounts uh, person, right, uh, will be crying about doing the, especially the bank recon once a month, right? Uh, if you do agree, let me know. Okay, so uh, first, uh, the this dynamo, right, is already, we having the searching option ready. So no matter you want to searching for the either the payment or the amount figure, right? So you just type into the column here. So whatever the figure or the any wording, right, is a, if the detection on the below screen, we'll be searching respectively the records only. Okay, you don't need, you don't need to scroll up and scroll down. Okay, so this is the first one. And second one, I would like to share with the, those uh, give the good news to the uh, account person. Okay, so we do have a safe KIV and load KIV. What, the, the, what does it mean safe and load KIV? Which means you do today, you tick, tick, tick ready, you tick on the middle ready. Suddenly you receive call, you need to go out. Okay, as uh, compared to our smart business QR previously, you can't stop it in the middle way. You need to do uh, you need to finish the all the bank recon. Okay, at here, no need. You can save as KIV when you're coming back on the next day or later you're coming back, you still can load back the KIV uh this bank recon history. All right. And the next one I will share with you is the adjust. So adjust is sometimes when you do the bank recon that time, you've got bank charges or any uh, uh, extra uh, charges from the bank. All right, you can through from here doing the adjustment automatically. The system, when you're pointing in, you fit in all the column ready, right? So, automatically, the system will be helping you to do the entry, and the entry will be appearing out in the bank recon. Uh, this is from what, what I know the, the from the accounting people they're doing the bank recon, so they're using it at here. So, you're helping on their uh, I mean, uh, to save their time to do the entry, lah, okay. And also the next one, post. Okay, this is what exactly the what's the things that uh, whatever you do in the bank, we can't tell you ready, right? So you need to click the post. So after post ready, you may feel that in the smart business SQL, the bank recon, you can't trace it back. You need to redo or you don't able to trace back the records. Okay, in the dyno mode, you can able to trace in any time. Okay, whatever you're doing the bank recon in the January, February, March, right? So you still can able to have a recording uh, records on the January, right? So compared to the smart business QL, so uh, this bank recon is able to, to have a record ready for this bank recon history. And also we do, uh, especially about the talking about the accounting, right? So we do have a general listing. So especially when you're seeing the account at time, okay? A lot of people, they will be having crying they will want to see about the, this transaction. Previously, it's very tedious and very hard to handle it. They need to print out and they need to check one by one. So right now, no need to do that. So you just click on, you open up the screen, then you just click on that, uh, click on the respectively on the, on the column, the document number. When you click, you automatically zoom in. Okay, imagine that, see that you imagine that, the smart business SQL and compare right now the dynamo is having saved you a lot, a lot of the time to doing about that, uh, especially investigating on the your transactions. So this is the one I, I usually I was advised to my clients. One transaction, you take three minutes. Right now, I just give you what two minutes. We don't talk so about so much. One minute is too low. Okay, two minutes. You see, you still can spend a lot of time to do extra things, right? So this is the one, the, uh, the general ledger, uh, zoom in this thing. And also I would like to share with you the chart of account, all right? 
So the chart of account also changes ready. So chart of account, we do have a multiple layer on the chart of account. We can do the sub sub ledger. Okay. So you can realign again to your the new chart of account. So compared to previously, you can't track it like this pattern. So at here, you can using it. Uh, the sub sub ledger, the multiple layer, lah, as we can be talking. Uh, this uh, chart of account. All right. And the next one, especially the previously to our all smart pieces of SQL client, they very hated about the viewing, especially doing analysis on the PL. All right. So they will be crying. Okay. Especially the operation people, right? They want to analyze. They, want, they say, I want to show to my boss, I need to export it out to my boss and show it to them. But every two years, I need to do it one time like that. So at here, once you come into the dyno mode, so you can view it in the one screen. Okay, so this is very good news. Okay, for those just now I mentioned inside the reporting, like the aging, like the statements, like the just now the general ledger listing, right? Is it can export it out to the Excel or PDF? Answer is yes, right? No worry about that. All right, and the next one uh, will be the trial balance and the PL. Also, uh, this will be normal transaction usage, but we do have a multi level. Why are we talking about multi level? Some of it, the bosses, they don't like to see detail, they want to see on the interface. So, when they're talking about the detailed transaction at that time, they can use it the multi level to view in, in which transactions on which detail on the GL. So, I do believe that this is uh, for accounting person, right? They may feel about it, about this benefit, about multi-level, right? And also, uh, we're talking about the backend ready. So right now we're talking about the post management, okay? And we can know so far, I work with Smart 13 years already. They say, Ming Yang, I need to do every time. I need to go to set one by one, terminal by terminal. It's very crazy. If let's say I got 10 dollars, I need to set 10 times. Am I correct? All right, so if you're using the Dynamo program, you can control in one shot, one roof, which means no matter you are set up the security, you set up the payment, you set up the whatever the menu, right? You can control in Dynamo program, okay? In the post setup, exactly the setting, okay? You don't need to go here and you've got 10 outlets. You need no need to go to 10 outlets, which means you just control in the Dynamo program that's enough okay especially to our clients i was a uh, uh, can advise to yours uh, better you running this concept or else you you need to run 10 times okay compared to this one screen you can setting it anytime anywhere okay you can have a step by step the guidance especially using our post setup wizard so they will, we will uh, inside here the wizard will guide you how to set up okay for the post system all right and the next one, we do have a post monitoring function. Okay, previously we don't have this kind of function of the post system. A lot of people they telling me, Ming Yang, I why my sales didn't come back? Okay, why is it no connection? Okay, now my right now we got this function already. We do have a client's socket connectivity con connectivity status. So which means you can monitor by your own. Okay, so you no need to check, no need to go to check to the outlets. Uh, what's their problem? You can trace from here, okay? You can trace from here, so you can do whatever the up. Uh, uh, you can know the status whether there's a link or no link. You just call to the outlets and asking them what's the problem, okay? And also we do have a post simulation screen, especially you using our promotion module. So if you're setting um about the promotion already, so you don't have a. Uh, previously I was guide my customer go to your test. Uh, you set already. You need to go to post and amend the date. So this post simulation screen is not affected to your current post system. It will be uh, reflected on the back end. So to test for further or planning on in advance, right, for the post simulations. Okay, so this is one of the benefit uh, for, for those person, right, they using it about the post simulations, all right? And also we do have the cases collections by verified by date and the view sales summary and cases validator. So this is a lot, a lot of the functions, right? The monitoring on the functions that very helpful on the, especially for the multi-outlet person, all right? The next one, after you've done it already, so 
you may asking me Ming Yang, is it whether you've got uh, any reporting inside on the back end? Okay, so do I need to go to each outlet to have a monitoring their, monitoring their sales? Answer, you can check in this Dynamo program. So we not only for those, uh, this reporting only, we do have a cash sales, uh, the sales and summary collections. We do have an analyze, analyze of the collection. I mean, uh, the payment details, okay? Especially the payment detail, the collections. You, uh, inside this post summary, you're able to get it uh, your report at, by daily, all right? So this is the one I would like to share with you. Uh, this is a post reporting and also the time attendance, all right? So the time attendance every day, your staff uh, clock in and clock out, right? So you need to keep track. So inside here, you're able to keep, keep, a, keep a, uh, to cash the time attendance to the staff, all right? So time attendance also can be deployed, all right? And also there will be a lot, a lot of the function inside the whatever the detail, right? Especially the voucher and the post cash cow, you want to have all those records, right? All can monitor inside in one diner mode. Okay, so this is the post management that can be done, especially for those who got multi outlet person. Okay, the bosses entrepreneur. So good news for you. So this is one of it, the benefit tools that can be helping on assist um, on this uh, program, Dynamo program to yours. All right. And to let you see um, the, our touch post, exactly the link or the front end, which means the touch F touch post and touch FMB uh, is our linking to our demo program. So it's already replaced to the touch and post and smart this SQL. So this is the screen that I can uh, share with you. Almost I can say that it's 95% is a similar, uh, similar same, exactly, don't worry. So we're talking about the training later, right? Okay, later uh, training, we will still provide, but don't worry, the screen still maintain the same, okay? There's no changing a lot, but we'll be got a lot, a lot of the extra features inside the touch post and touch FMB, all right? And the next one, we're talk talking about the store transactions and online orders, especially we're talking about the post system, right? Just now I mentioned already it's 95% is the uh, same, but it's already extra features. What's the extra features get uh, got it? So like example, the store transactions, and also the online order synchronization, and you got multi-payment, like as, as I just now mentioned already, we got the credit card integrations, and we do have a e-wallet integration. And also we got to have um, customer management, retail specialist management, and the inventory management, and also they have a reporting and analytics about inside this post program, right? So this will be a lot, a lot of inside the tools that for those the operation person, right, is very useful for them, all right? We're talking about the touch FMB, okay? Touch FMB, so we got the floor and table management, okay? You can customize by your own, you can have a floor mat, okay? And you have a quick menu and modifier. As you can see here, you can set the multiple menu, okay? So you can set it at the back end there already, after that you synchronize to the post system, okay? And the next one, you will be the kitchen multi-printers and uh, the discount promotions, you also can be done. And we also do have an e-menu. Eh? So e-menu um, also can be using inside uh, our post program. And also we do can control the inventory and also the reporting analytics about the, this uh, touch FMB. So I can say that for those are using our touch post and touch FMB program, right? Don't worry. So uh, still maintain the same, but we got a lot, a lot of the features that just now mentioned. So it will be extra features, right? So the integration part ready solutions. All right. So I want to share with you what's the benefits about the this info to go. Okay, just now we're talking about the sales, we're talking about the inventory benefits really. How about the bosses? Especially I can share with you all the bosses, they, they will do agree with me. So one of the business, they might see today's sales, uh, how much they might see on the inventory, what's the stock balance in my warehouse, in my shop. So I do believe that right now, not only for this, these apps also can be analyzed, analyzed on your stock inventory, which one is the highest, as you can see the sales chart, 
and you can see as you got using our account, you can trace your aging, okay? And also you can check on your account, especially the accounting side, you can check the account, the cash book, the payment for the bank, and also the PNL, okay? Especially the, the business right running on the daily operations. So you can trace from day by day, what's your uh, profit? At least you can know, uh, you can monitor from time to time in any time, in anywhere for using this info to go to the business. So this is for the bosses uh, or any operations manager. So good news for you, you can trace the, your, your monitoring on your business from any time, anywhere. So through mobile apps, all right? And the next one, I would like to share with you, our Dynamo just now already mentioned uh, about the uh, offline. We're talking about the online. So the online, we already, we do have an integration with Lazada, Shopee, and also the e-commerce, right? So I do believe right, right now, uh, a lot of my clients, they're not only doing for the physical stock, uh, physical store only, they also are uh, going to exploring on the online part. So the online part, we do have the, all those things I mentioned, no matter you had a shipping solution, you've got the web store, you've got the marketplace, you've got social commerce, we also can solve your problem, okay? So which means you can monitor all your products listing in the one platform and all synchronized and you get the unify your inventory, ordering, and also customize the pricing in the different sales channel. So this is the one that I would like to share with you to have an offline to online business to create more opportunities to your business, all right? And the next one, is it after you done it ready or about loyal, uh, the online ready, is it you want to developing on your membership loyalty system? Our smart here, we do can integrate to this in-card loyalty program. So in this, at, at this loyalty program, at least you can gain more and more customer and also, you can attract your customer and come back and buy to buy with you, all right? So inside here, we got the four modules. We got the point, we got the prepaid, we got the digital voucher and also the e e a digital stamp and also the e voucher as well. Okay, so this is one uh one of the opportunity just now the second opportunity that can you can gain the markets right or the the local community okay to your clients to give them to the, provide the good services. Okay, so uh, at least it, they can feel on your sincerely to really to serving them the better, all right, rather than going to other shop and buying some buy things, all right. So the next one, just now uh, in the earlier already mentioned, our smart here, we got the only channels solutions, all right. So we also do have a shop to go, all right. So imagine that if you're doing the online ready, so you want to go further on, right, you want to have your own brand, your own brand, your own apps, right? So you want to have a member online or offline online members integration. Is it smart can be done? Yes, this is the one that e-commerce can be done inside the shop to go. And also we do have a shipping module options. Just now I mentioned already, no matter you're doing the self pickup, you no matter you're doing the express delivery, okay? So it can be done. And number four, why is it the implemented about this shop to go? What's the benefits? Because as you can see here, you when you got a multi alert that time, assume that a lot of the orders, right, you need to go back to the warehouse, okay? They're not able to uh, send the orders to the nearest branches and uh, send to deliver to your clients. So this one of it, the option, the benefits, uh, shop to go, right, is a localized order fulfillment, which means your clients, let's say in KL, okay? I, let's say I'm in Puchalama. So let's say uh, your shop in the Sri Pataling, all right? So automatically when I, when I order the stock from you, so automatically the Sri Pataling will send the parcel to me, which means the system will automatically route to the nearest branches and deliver the parcels to, to your clients, right? So this is one of the example, why is it the local, localized order fulfillment on that? Uh, for this shop to go, right? And also, uh, the next one I would like to share with you, if you've got any e-commerce, okay, the stand, 
uh, e-commerce using the like Magento or any uh, WooCommerce or using the WordPress. Okay, so is it can be integrated to our system? Answer is yes. We have a standard backend and post system open API. Okay, we uh, can provide to you. Okay, the link, then you can uh, inform to the programmer and work it out. And we do have an integration. So we do have a Dynamo and post web API for use. And uh, this is the, the news I would like to share with yours. And the next one I would like to share with you how to migrate after we're talking about so on a lot of the things really Ming Yang is say uh, this can do that can be do then if really I want to use the, using this dynamo how to how what should I do okay a lot of people will be will be asking All right so this is the one that migration process that I will share with you we do have a migration checklist and also the visit okay uh, inside the migration process don't worry the still, uh, especially a lot of people, they were asking me, how about my stock? How about my clients? How about my supplier name? Okay, all can be converted into this dynamic program. Don't worry, all right? As long as you know housekeeping, you want to carry on forward to the new program, so this one can be done, okay? Except you want to do some housekeeping, then it will be another uh, handling, all right? So we do have a migration checklist and visit before we're doing the application, all right? And also we do have an end of life uh, campaign specials. Um, okay, we're talking about a lot of the migrations and the extra features really. So we're talking about the end of life uh, campaign special. So this uh, session I will bring, uh, you can look back to your service provider or you can look back uh, especially for the smart business SQL clients for our smart principle here, you can look back for me or look back for Chin or look for Chenpat, okay, to have a further uh, clarifications about the special com uh, campaign special. All right. And also I would like to announce that inside uh, this program, um, we call M uh, grant digitalizations, SME digital grant. So we do have a opportunity to for for good news for the, all the clients, okay, you can have a take this opportunity to claim, especially the all the application fees and you need to pay, right? So I can share with you, you don't need to pay so much, okay? You can using the this grant, especially the this grant, you can have a maximum, got 5K grant, okay, the SME. So is it, you see that there's a 2020, right? So is it end, really end? Answer heaven end, okay? And also need to act very fast. Uh, I was uh, urge all the SME entrepreneur faster to apply for this grant. Because why? Because every year they have an allocation on the funds. They will be open up to 100,000 company to open up for those to claim the grant only. Once the quota will be reached, then you may not, op you may, uh, may not get the grant from the MDEC. Okay, so for those, uh, don't worry, you want to have really want to have an upgrade. So you can using this opportunity to claim all the entire, the whole projects for operations, right? And uh, I already almost have finished with this. So uh, we come to the Q&A session. So I do believe that you right now, you've got a, in your mind, I do, in your mind, uh, you have a Q&A. So uh, let's, we go through about the Q&A. Okay, inside here, uh, Tivia, you've got two questions, okay? After you support Smart Business SQL licensing, inside partner license, okay, this one. Yes, yes uh, you can still see this in the partner license portal. And then, okay, if your customer is using one user now, they want to upgrade next year, uh, you still can, you still can uh, buy the user, but the thing is, um, you, you can't request for like any other enhancement possible. Like you say, oh, I add a user already, then uh, this user want to have this column, this format, then we don't support that. That will uh, up to uh, echo charges that. All right. For the person who's still using SQL, uh, must not be SQL, and uh, it still doesn't affect them, they don't want to change, it's all right, but just, if, like I said, they want to integrate to the e-wallet, they want to integrate to the credit card, then it, this is not supported. 
Okay, Mike is asking one series is the end of life also. Okay, actually our one easy series, right? Uh, we we are not end of life. We only end of life is uh, our smart piece SQL and also the touch and pose only. Okay, so one easy uh not uh end of life yet. Okay, we still can using it, but it will yeah, be some limitation. You can say like that, lah, because the mm -hmm. affected one is uh if it's going to smart piece SQL because touch and pose you need to use by with smart smart piece SQL, so you will be affected. But it's still the same. If you are no no problems using the touch and pose now, you still can continue use it. It's not like it's not like you cannot do transaction anymore. You still can use it. Just that we don't uh, accept the uh, anymore inquiry for enhancement. Okay, thanks, Eunice, for further uh, explanations. And Alan also asking, how about the TMP have linking e wallet? Is it can still is it still can use? Which means that whatever features that already developed can use now, it still can use. Whichever now can use, it still can use. But if we have other new e wallet coming, uh, like I say now, uh, our e wallet can support up to eight ma. Next day, maybe next time they have the new e wallet are in, then maybe they don't have ready. Okay, uh, Alan, I think uh, you need to really explain. So, uh, the touch and post, uh, whatever the payment, get, uh payment uh, methods that you're having right now, you still can using it, don't worry. So, but if let's say you got additional uh, payment gateway, the brands, right, at any right, so there will be no, no enhancement, all right? So hope that you can get it. And also the YK chain. Okay, smart piece SQL end of this year. Do I affect any touch and post? Uh, just, now we, okay. just now we explained earlier, right? Mm, yeah, my, I think uh, just answer back to the white white kit uh, answer. So it will be no effect as you see, as using right now. Okay, using no problem. So after the two zero two two right, if you're using no any uh any extras or things that on your operations right, you still can use it no problem. Okay, don't worry. Okay, white kit. I uh, hope that you got it, the answer. Uh, the Julian were asking. The e wallet key set in smart this SQL using back end or need to apply again for Dynamo. No need, no need apply again. Can use back the same merchant code, merchant key just to uh, enable the payment type at the back end of the uh, Dynamo and then uh, enable it at the front end. It's the same uh, merchant code. All right, Julian, I think uh, you need to really, uh, giving you an answer already. So hope that you can get it. And also the Sherin asking, ooh, okay, regarding on the stock physical store and marketplace online, is sync correctly in Dynamo a threat that the stock in physical might different with the Dynamo? Okay, uh, Sherin, is it uh, you're talking about the physical stock and marketplace? Uh, okay, so usually depends, la, I can see that depends on the situations. Uh, some of it, my clients, they will be synchronized in the one locations. Some of it, my clients, they separate the locations, which means they don't mix. Okay. If you worry about the stock insufficient, so uh, usually the due on the manpower, I can say that on the manpower, on the handling. So both situations, we also uh, got it. So depending on which uh, situation you applied it. Okay. Okay, so Mike asking, one smart cover still able to renew next year? Yes. Yes, just now uh, you need to really answer, Mike. Okay, so um, after the upgrade to Dynamo, can the user both new Dynamo and Smart Business SQL together because not everything migrate to the to Dynamo so that user might want to use it, the Smart SQL to refer the old transaction? Uh, this one I can answer to you, the Tiva. Don't worry, as I can uh, always uh, inform to my clients, Smart Business SQL still remain at your PC. We're not moving out. Okay. Only though after one year, it might changing to the viewing mode. Okay. You still have a time frame to doing the amendment for current uh, accounting. All right. So after one year already, so it will be changing to the viewing mode. So we did not know after the years already. The auditor is coming back and audit again on your last few years transactions. You have a record at there. Okay. 
So don't worry about this. Okay, and white kid uh, asking if touch and post got problem, dealer still can still yes. can have us. To, okay. Yeah, the uh like maybe the connection issue or what still can uh look for your dealers or service product to solve the issue. Okay. Uh Ellen asking, how about the government have new tax code? Smart B secure no. able to add will totally no, cannot. <laughs> yeah. That's, like just now we say la, if let's say like GST come back or SST or GST come back, la, then they, they the government requires some some special column to be uh, recorded as your in your transaction, then that is not supported by smart business care anymore. You only can do this at the new dynamo day. Because there's a lot of reason. Uh, yeah, because, because the smart SQL, yeah, the architectures and then the system architecture, the environment is uh is quite outdated. That's why a lot of the technical things cannot be applied there. Yeah, and, and the uh maintenance and the enhancement is um is not what we uh is it's not what aligns with uh, our company direction anymore. So we have to do this uh, EOL thing for the uh, smart business QL. Okay, I, I think I just uh made a very clear statement again here. Uh for no matter you're using current the uh, whatever the function and the features inside the smart business QL, if let's say or with no changes remain the same, so you still can using it. So which means additional, additional, uh, additional things like just now mentioned, just now all the questions that throwing out that uh, extra add in, extra and other new functions, there will be no more, okay? So this one, you may need to take note about these situations on this smart piece as well, okay? I uh, hope that to get the answer, uh, can deliver to answer to you, Alan. You got it the answer. And also Mr. Sao uh, was asking, can we both smart SQL in the same PC uh, so that you can use either whichever relevant? Okay, uh, usually we will, uh, can, can be installed in the one computer, no problem. Uh, we will see on your depends on the PC performance. Okay, because both program running in the one, one uh, PC, right? So of course we need to have a measure on the PC, the, performance as well we will see on that okay okay or you can still looking back on your service provider okay service provider to check on it the computer spec okay uh, so this one you can look back on them also and uh, prepaid we just renew our license from the 3rd April to 2nd April do we need to upgrade on uh, can we do the upgrade on next year uh, I think uh, Miss Wong uh, this one it depends depends on your site there okay when, when you want to do the uh, upgrades okay you want to do for by end of this year and do by next year also can no problem we we do can do operation for you okay as long you say you want to when is a cut off date to switch it to the new system usually we're based on the financial year we, we cut off on the financial year is better if you fail it Right now it's very troublesome. So smart business scale tr very troublesome for you, and you really very uh, frustrated to use it. Then you say you want to right now. Then we might need to discuss. All right. So we can after this session maybe can look for you again. All right. Okay. David Yong was asking. Uh, this was mentioned thirty first of the December end of software maintenance and cover renewal. Okay, should we use the touch and post and touch uh, smart SQL and TMP to clarify there's no further payment for yearly renewal and beyond? Uh, just now already uh, answer already. Uh, there's no only the cover, but the maintenance you still pay for it. The maintenance only pay for it. And also the problems that you face that the bugs, okay? The bugs, there's no effect to your crop. Uh, within the control that can be solving, you just pay for the maintenance. If let's say it really, you need to have uh, like the bugs, right? Cannot solve and you need to upgrade, right? So it will be another handling. So you still need to pay for the maintenance as well uh, on the following year, okay? Cover, it just only uh, no need to pay, all right? So David, I uh, hope that you got it, uh, the answer. Okay, Alan also uh, asking again if customer use Smart SQL workshop 
So basically, ask customer chain software Dynamo, uh, Dynamo, no workshop, correct? Uh, okay, for, for workshop, workshop is the, um, we can call it a special industry, la, when handling in the smart SQL. So this must be SQL today we're talking is only, uh, currently it's only a fact for the standard user, standard retail user. For workshop or other special industry, we uh, you still can use it. It's not a fact that you still can use it. And by time, maybe uh, we are still now in the in the uh, program process of developing this extra function to be added in, in the Dynamo. So when it's ready, then you will be, you also can migrate to the Dynamo without uh, much effect. Okay, Ellen, I uh, hope that you got it the answer from Eunice. Okay, for meter reading, also same, can be upgrade to Dynamo. Uh, currently, uh, Darren, don't, don't first. There will be special uh, industry, so don't first. Okay, uh, if you can, you just discuss with your uh, Eunice later on after the session about this. All right, and also the workshop. I Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, because a few years, uh, you asked for a few years, maybe the developing is not uh, ready yet, so we can't uh, force the, our clients to using the workshop is because it's very special module on that. Okay, if the clients can accept it to the new interface, can build alternative way the column to fit in to their, uh, the smart piece SQL, there'll be no problem. The problem is- uh, Don't worry, this one the, is definitely, it's in the, definitely is in the program. Yeah, so the workshop, the workshop uh, enhancement to be ready at the dynamo. We definitely will put it in the pipeline to, to develop it. Yeah, so because before that, we have to maintain two different systems and different software. So that's why the developing is cannot be decided. Now, we because we have to end of life for this public SQL, so we, for this transition to the dynamo, we will handle it uh, accordingly. Okay. So uh, since that there will be no uh, further question, right? So I was uh, advised, strongly advised that uh, using uh, this opportunity, right, to thanks all the participants and audience again to coming here, uh, coming to today's uh, webinar to sharing about this end of life of Smart Piece SQL. So I uh, hope that just now the, uh, the, ans the questions have been asked, answered that you can got it. So from time to time, you can still can contact with our Smart Piece SQL and you are uh, you our distributions, uh, the service provider, the customer, right? You still can look back for them for further clarifications about this end of life campaign about this uh, Smart Piece SQL, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye-bye, hope yeah. to see you see next you, time. See you again, see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.